Before commencing any transfer, it is important to remember the following points. Choose the transfer technique most appropriate given the client's physical and mental status, their weight and your own physical capacity. Stand as close as possible to the client. Use your body weight to assist during the transfer. Bend your knees, not your back. Make sure the client is in a good position before starting the transfer. Remove all unnecessary objects. Wear suitable clothing and shoes. Never transfer a heavy person alone or without a device such as a lifter. Bend both knees. Raise your head and shoulders from the pillow and bend both elbows. Push down on your elbows and slide backwards until you reach a comfortable position in the bed. Move to the side of the bed. Clasp your hands together and raise them straight. Bend your knees. Turn your head to the side and follow with the body. Slide the lower part of your legs off the bed. Raise your body by pushing down on the left hand. Push until you reach sitting position. Ask or assist the client to slide the lower part of her legs off the bed. Place one hand on her hip and the other under her shoulder. Press down on the hip and guide from the shoulder and bring her to a sitting position. It will help if you demonstrate the technique to the client. Place your hands on the bed close to your hips. Shift your weight from side to side and move towards the edge of the bed. Stand directly in front of the client, as close as you can. Place one hand under her buttocks and the other on the opposite shoulder. Lift the buttock and shift the weight to the other side. Alternate sides and move her towards the edge of the bed. Stand behind the client as close as you can. Place both hands on her hips, rock her from side to side and push her forward. Make sure the client is wearing shoes. Put your feet firmly on the floor a little apart. Slide your feet back until they are a little behind your knees. Use your hands for support. Lean forward slightly. Push down on your hands and come up to standing. Stand directly in front of the client. Grasp her hands. Assist by pulling gently until she reaches standing position. Stand to the side of the client as close as is comfortable. Place one hand on her knee 
and the other behind her shoulder. Instruct her to lean forward. Press on the knee, support the back and assist her to reach standing position. Stand to the side of the client as close as is comfortable. Grasp her elbow. Tell her to grasp your elbow. Place your other hand behind her shoulder. Tell her to lean forward and pull gently to assist her to a standing position. Stand to the side of the client as close as is comfortable. Tell her to put her hand on your waist. Place your other hand behind her shoulder. Tell her to lean forward, pull gently and assist her to come to a standing position. Remove the footrest and armrest on the side the client will transfer to. Position the wheelchair as close to the bed as possible at an angle of approximately 45 degrees. Make sure both brakes are on. Remove any obstacles, for example the pillow. Shuffle as close to the wheelchair as possible. Reach for the armrest with one hand. Use the other hand to push down and assist with moving to the wheelchair. Remove both footrests and the armrest on the side the client will transfer to. Position the chair at 45 degrees to the bed and make sure both brakes are on. Stand directly in front of the client as close as is comfortable. Use your knees to support and stabilize her and assist her to move close to the chair. Tell her to put both hands around your waist. Place your hands behind her shoulders, lift and turn and sit her in the wheelchair. Position the wheelchair as for the previous transfer. Place the sliding board under your buttocks and on the chair. Place one hand on the sliding board and the other on the bed. Push down on both hands and move in small steps along the sliding board. Remove the sliding board. Position the wheelchair as for the previous transfer. Place the sliding board under her buttocks and on the chair. Stabilize her legs using your knees. Grasp her under the buttocks. Lift and move her in small steps to reach the chair. Remove the sliding board. Position her in the chair. Roll onto one side. Use your hands to push yourself up into a sitting position. Turn onto your hands and knees and crawl slowly to the chair. Place both hands on the chair. Move closer to the chair. Grasp one armrest. Pull yourself up. Turn and sit down slowly in the chair. It is better to stand with the weaker side next to the handrail if this is possible. Grasp the handrail, step up with the stronger side first, follow with the other foot, make sure that both feet are completely on the step 
with the toes facing forwards. Repeat this until you reach the top of the stairs. Grasp the handrail. Step down with the weaker side first. Follow with the other foot. Make sure that both feet are completely on the step with the toes facing forwards. Repeat this until you reach the bottom of the stairs.